Good afternoon. This is the last race of a 17 race series for the Australian national titles for the DF65 class. The event was sailed in Australia at Kiwana Waters on the Sunshine Coast. Going in for a start. What the whole theme of the series has been very tight competition uh, with a large fleet, the largest fleet we've had in Australia with 40 competitors in Australia and New Zealand. 16 clubs were res represented and we had six, uh, five states, um, Tasmania, South Australia, Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland represented. Going up to the top mark. The interesting theme of the series was the closeness of the competition. Boat speed between the top 10 boats was marginal. And the most important part of racing uh, is where you pick those shifts and lifts and today what you see is 5.9 that's the Tasmanian uh, Kyle has had a blinding start and is leading up to the top mark in first place the wind is southeast around about 10 kilometers an hour. There's three legs of this course. It's around about a 12 minute race. So um, very competitive. You need to be on your wits all the time. And we've got 5.9 in first place, followed by 100s, that's the New South Wales boat. That's uh, Kel from New South Wales. And then we've got a Queensland boat, that's number 60. And um, that is Dean followed by 99, that's another Queensland boat, 329 Queensland boat, and 52, with the rest of the fleet coming through. So, what you'll see is, during this race, is lots of changes in the lead. And this is reflected in how the boats actually pick those shifts and those lifts and kept their boats moving quickly. Going down to the bottom mark. The fleet is choosing the right hand gate as there's a lift off this bank so everyone's going following each other. 5-2 is in 7th place at this particular point in time and a good 30 metres behind the leader. So we've got 5-9 in 1st place, 2nd place 60, 3rd place 100, 4th place 99, 5th place 329, 6th place 52 at this particular point in time. Close racing. 5.9 five, um, has gone out and picked up a really good lift on the right hand side of the course and really is has got, it's got a loose cover over the rest of the fleet and sailing pretty fast and quickly and really controlling and dominating the fleet at this particular point in time. They're all going up to the left hand side of the course to pick up a shift on that side of the course, but they haven't. And so they're coming back on a knock. 
5.2 recognizes this has tacked back uh, on that knock and lifted a little bit up and going further out to the left hand side of the course. Going up to the second rounding of the top mark, we have Tasmanian 5.9, followed by Queenslander number 60, followed by 329 Queenslander, followed by New South Wales 100, followed by 52 Queenslander. Coming down to the second rounding of the bottom boys. Remember we have another lap to go. And then up to the finish. So leading the fleet at this stage, there has been um, a little bit of a change. Well, not much of a change at this stage and they're all pretty close together going down to the bottom boy. Beautiful conditions here. I mean, we've got three fleets, an A, B and C fleet, um, using, the, using the HMS system for, a pro, for progress. So this time they're all going, appear to be going around the right hand boy again. Yep, everyone's following each other. Clearly that boy is favored you're coming across here and getting a nice little lift off the knock on this shore. So we have 5, 9, 60, 100, 3, 2, 9 and 5, 2, all within 15 metres of each other. Close racing. The left hand side of the course has been working and you can see 5.9 is tacking on that knock and going across to the left hand side. But if you look in the distance you can see there's a pressure wind coming out of the right hand side of the course. Uh, 5.2 is the only boat which has continued on the port tack across to that um, right hand side of the course whereas these guys the other the rest of the fleet five five nine is covering the rest of the fleet um, who have gone up on the left hand side of the course five two has gone alone and managed to pick up that shift you can see the breeze coming through now Five two is converging on the fleet, and looks to be just slightly ahead of five nine, and continues to go out to the left to pick up that knock, which she has, and she's picked up a knock, and going up to the final windward mark. So we've had a change of the um, positions. We've got five two. The we've got Queensland five two in first place, followed by Tasmania five nine in second place. We have New South Wales one hundred in third place. In fourth place, we have South Australia in 759. In fifth place, we have Queensland, number 60. In seventh place, we have 329. 
it's a Queensland boat. So a real mix of boats from diff different states sailing this course. It's been a very challenging course, a challenging series um, from very light conditions on the first day to moderate conditions on the third day. Um, you know, we've got 10 kilometres an hour breeze now, a nice, nice breeze and a shifty, shifting breeze. Going to the bottom mark, we have in first place 5.2, followed by 5.9, followed by 100. We've got some pictures of the final, the first three boats together with the results sheet for the series. Trust you enjoyed uh, what, watching the series. There's 17 uh, videos. Please feel welcome to subscribe to the channel as there's lots of information on how to set your boats up and perform well. But great, great racing on the lake today. Well done 5.2, well done 5.9, and well done 100. The series was won by 5-2, second place on 30, well, 5-2 on 30 points, second place was another Queensland boat, 329 with 59 points, and in third place we had 60. Full results follow. Look forward to seeing you on the water. Bye for now.